Okay, if you're always cold like I am, I might have a product for you. It is the Handy Heater Freedom. It is a wearable personal heater. Fun fact, one of my first reviews six years ago was the Handy Heater. It was the kind that you plug into the wall. Um, so yeah, so, okay, that's a fact. Maybe it wasn't so fun, but it was a fact. Uh, and I don't remember being a big fan of it. So hopefully this one's better, but spoiler alert, it's not. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, I am Kathy and I try things and I give you my two cents. All right, before I tell you my issues with it, let's check it out. Here it is, it comes with a little, the instructions and a survey card. And here it is. And it has the USB charger. So when I first saw this, the first thing that came to mind was the Arctic Air Freedom that I reviewed in summer of 2021. So this was the neck fan, blows the air up. Difference in size for sure, difference in weight. This this first thing, when I pulled this out, I was like, oh, that's kind of heavy. So how's that gonna feel around your neck? So I'm gonna weigh it real quick. You right. see it's 11.5 ounces to the Arctic Air, in case you have one of these, you, you'll kind of have an idea. It's only 9.1 ounce. So this is definitely, definitely weighs more. It does expand to go around your neck, but it doesn't stay. And I'm not a fan of that. So if you have a bigger neck, you're probably not gonna like this. It is like four and three fourths. There is the Arctic Air. So, and this was eight, eight inches. Even at the smallest, it's like six and three, four, five and three, four. So a lot smaller. Something else I noticed is the design has changed since this box was made. Uh, so I don't know if this was the prototype and then they changed it to this. As you can see on here, it's like one piece, but this looks like it's in three pieces. It's these pieces here. Uh, even the button is a little different. Um, and it looks like I don't know if they're just showing this design to show that that's what gets hot or that's what it was supposed to look like. But as you can see here, it's just a, it's all black. All right, so here's the charger. It does not come with a block. You can plug it into, you know, any USB, uh, but just know it doesn't come with this. This is mine. All right. all right, so this does come partially charged, but it does say to charge it fully before um, the first use. So it just goes in here and you'll see so the blinking lights show that it is charging and when they go solid it means it's fully charged okay so when i first charged this the first time it did fully charge uh, but i'm not sure how long that took because it was already partially charged so i have used it ran the charge all the way down and uh, tried to recharge it but i can't get it to recharge fully and I'm talking hours and hours and it will not recharge fully. So that's disappointing. So something I noticed in the instructions that were wrong, it says that um, the default setting when you turn it on is at the highest setting at four. That's not true. It's one and it goes up to four, which makes sense because you don't want to start this out on four because it gets pretty warm. So like I said, four settings, I can feel it's getting warm now. Uh, when you first put it on, it, it doesn't really feel uncomfortable. Um, even though it is, seems a little heavy, it doesn't feel too bad on your neck. Like I said, if you have a larger neck, this might not be too comfortable. And I can feel like it warm, but the, the heat isn't even. It seems like it's warmer over here than it is over here. So I wanna check the temperature just to see if it's right. And I'm not crazy. I don't think I'm crazy. So let's just, I can do this this way. You can see where I have it. See, that doesn't feel that warm, but if you come over here, yeah, it's much, it's much warmer on this side. In spots, it just seems real spotty. Yeah, it gets really warm. you get the idea it's not it's not consistent so i wasn't crazy i wasn't crazy it did feel different all right i'm gonna go down to one and let it 
cool down for a second. As this is cooling down, I've noticed a couple things. Like this button, it seems like this is cheaply made. This button seems kind of loose already. And there's this gap here. You can see that where it's not. You can push it down. So <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like this is cheaply, cheaply made. All right. So this is down. This is one. Get you to see it better here. Well, it's still pretty warm there. There we go. But still not consistent. Three. Yeah, so it's it's kind of all over the place. So I have been using this for the past few days just to see if it will really keep me warm. Um, a lot of times in the winter, I do wear a scarf when I go out. And even when I come back home, I'll leave it on because I'm always cold. So to make this, it's not, when you first put this on, it's not that uncomfortable, but um, I wanted to see if it would, the heat would go through the scarf. So I put the scarf, I'm just kind of put it around it. So if you wanted to wear it out, you could, and no one, no one would know that you were wearing it. But I can't, the heat is going through the scarf, which is nice, it does feel good. So the other day when I was using it, I did have it on the highest setting on four and I was almost sweating. I had to like take it off, I was getting too hot. But I wanted to see how long the battery would last and it was like three and a half hours, which is what they say between three and six hours depending on the setting. Um, but like I said, the three and four gets so hot, you're better if you go down to one or two, uh, which you'll still get the heat. Um, but the charge will last longer. So it could last up to six hours. So that's good. It was $39.88 at Walmart. It was with the As Seen on TV products. Um, that seems a little high to me. I think the Arctic Air was only like $29.88. So after having used this for a few days, I have some pros and cons. I will start with the pros. It does warm you up. That's all I got. That's all I got. On to the cons. Price I think is too high. Um, it's a little heavy. It seems cheaply made. Uh, it does take a while to charge if you can get it to fully charge. So the first day I used this, I used it for several hours. Like I said, I used it on high. Um, I did have a scarf around me just to take away some of the heat because it was just too hot. Um, so yeah, so I used it for several hours that day. Um, then the next day, my neck was bothering me and I thought maybe I'd slept wrong and I was thinking, oh, this would be great. To try this to use it almost like a heating pad so i thought maybe the heat would help my neck so i put it on i just used setting two put it on for a few minutes and then i was like oh, man it's the heater that makes my neck hurt so it was like hurting in all the same places so i'm not gonna i won't say this will happen to everyone but it it hurts my neck my neck is still sore from this thing and it, it's like it hurts I'm like, oh, this is the most painful product I've reviewed. So yeah, so like I said, it could be me. I don't know. If you do decide to buy this, I would definitely make sure it's somewhere where you have free returns or it's easy to return like Walmart, free returns at uh, Amazon, just something where you can, can return it because just, I hate to see you waste money on something, you know, and you can't return it. So anyway, anyway, my two cents. Someone's at the front door. Sorry about that. So it's a big thumbs down for the handy heater freedom for me. It's just my neck sore. I, I'm not happy about this at all. My neck is sore. So if you've had better luck with the handy heater freedom, let me know in the comments below or I've seen some heated scarves. Have you tried any of those? Maybe I should review one of those. That would probably feel better and not so hard on my neck. Still can't believe it. Still can't believe it. Most painful review <laughs> that I've done on my channel.